maiden voyage of this Grand Am. I probably put maybe 20, 30 miles on it since I bought it. Finally decided to bring it home with me down to the cities and it's not doing too bad so far. See it running really good. Everything's working good. Got a Christmas tree dash, every light's on pretty much. Security, washing fluid, ABS, blah 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 blah. Don't ride too bad. Ride's pretty smooth. Fucking dirtier than hell in here though. I mean look at that shit. Girl on this car. Most girls' cars are pretty clean. Son of a bitch, this thing's filthy. I figured since it's a really boring drive and we got this new camera here to try it out and see what it does. I'm still riding the fence on whether I'm going to keep the camera or not. I think it's, it's going to go back because for the cost of this thing and how little record time you have, you put it on the lowest HD setting, you got two hours. You put the highest, you got like 30 minutes. You know, I can buy a, a Handycam HD with a 16 gig built into it, and it'll play a hell of a lot longer than this thing will. Yeah, I need a mirror. Got the sunroof open. It's been a long time since I had a car with a sunroof. Seventy, put seventy some miles, seventy-two miles on it so far today, and it's doing all right. Got kind of nervous about driving it this far, but I guess if it gets me back, back home, it'll be a successful trip. I guess later on down the road, if something happens or whatever, I'll turn the camera back on. Well, it's a couple days later, and I've got about. 300 miles on the piece of shit. And no problems. It's doing good, running good. Replaced a couple sensors on the engine, so I got some of the lights out on the dash, and it actually helped quite a bit the way the car ran and drove, and things actually got some nuts to it now. <clears throat> of course, being the tight lot I am, I went into the junkyard and got the, the, <laughs> the sensors that I needed. 300 bucks for the sensors for 35 bucks. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> but yeah. I guess for what I paid for this thing, I can't complain. I think it might be an alright car. Did find out some bad news about it, though. I found a burnt orange Grand Am in the junkyard like this. Bought the mirror for it. Well, I bought both mirrors. Because as you see, the driver's side is... Well, in the other video, you can see the driver's side is gone. This one's all busted to shit. It's not, the car is really burnt orange, but the factory color is actually brighter, I guess you can say. And this whole car has been repeated once before, but yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the paint matched or not. I've always wanted to try painting a car, so maybe I will paint it here in a couple weeks. I don't know. Still got the Green Hornet to drive, so. And he's feeling a little sick. I gotta put a battery, battery shot in it. This goddamn thing's still here. I'll eventually get my money out of those bastards that last drove it, but probably gonna be a year or two. So I'm just gonna eat it and fix the brakes, fix the transmission, and kick it down the road. And hopefully, in a year or two, I'll get my money back out of those bastards. Oh well. That really pisses me off, but the check that I got wrote for the body damage makes me happy. The only thing that sucks is I got the right colored fenders for it. Well, the factory color burnt orange for it, and they don't match. Lame. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Don't show the license plate. Now I got new plates for it. Hee hee hee. Yeah, figure I'd 
make a little short video of this thing coming home. Can't bring it to the place I live, so it's <laughs> it's gonna be sitting in mom and dad's house for a while. <laughs> and they'll be pissed once they find that one out. It'll join with the rest of the Pontiacs at the Pontiac Ranch. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Rate, comment, su subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.